Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole and I'm so happy to have you here. If you guys have been following me, you have noticed that something has changed. No, it's not my surroundings, it's my teeth. So in today's video, we'll be going in-depth talking about my new veneers and answering your questions. So question number one, why did I get them done? So first of all, it's something that I always wanted to get done since I was young, la. like around 21 years old. I realized that okay, my teeth, my original teeth weren't the best looking ones in the market. And that was when about five years ago, I tried temporary composite veneers. These are the composite veneers that I did and the ones that I'm gonna get are gonna be the real Deal, they are porcelain veneers but then right I didn't know that it's actually not recommended for your teeth and it was done by a beautician so not a proper proper dentist but I really didn't know at that point of time lah and they told me that my composite veneers could only last about 5 years and fast forward 5 years right which is right now is when that I should get them redone or removed so if I didn't get them removed right it will risk having decay forming underneath the teeth because composite veneers are just like a layer of resin over your original teeth what could happen is that seepage could occur beneath the resin and then you can't see that decay is happening underneath the teeth so it's very very risky actually because when you remove it you will notice that you have a lot of like minor decays here and there and then your teeth is not perfect like it was before and because I got to try out the composite veneers it made me like confirm plus chop I know that I want to do veneers that's why when the five year mark was up I wanted to change them to a professionally done porcelain veneer which is what you're seeing right now next question how long did the whole process take if you are talking from the first ever consultation to the final final set of teeth right I would say it's about two to three months because they space out your appointments you need Need to go for a trial smile you need to do the temporary veneers and then officially the real veneers get put in right but if you're talking about the actual installation of the veneers in your mouth that's about three to four hours you're done however let's rewind and start from the very first consultation so um, for me, I did actually two trial smiles. Trial smiles are important because the dentist will get to know what kind of smile you're looking for. I remember looking at it and feeling like, whoa, okay, the teeth are really big and the shape didn't really differ much from what my original teeth were. I couldn't really pinpoint what was wrong with the overall look of the set. But then it just felt like, it wasn't really what I wanted or what I had in mind. So at this point, right, I just started sending my dentist uh, reference pictures. He recommended me to go and observe or look at celebrities that I think have nice teeth and then send him the reference photo. And then he will try to shape your teeth closer to your preference. So after the two sessions of trial smile, that's when the real thing starts to kick in, okay? Oh my god, this is the last day you're gonna see me with this teeth eh? Am I gonna miss my old teeth? I don't think it will. The new teeth will be amazing. <gasps> because I had composite veneers, we had to remove them first before we could do anything else. Lah. My dentist actually did the composite veneer removal and the shaving down of the teeth together on the same day. Today, right, we're going to remove your old, okay, non-dentist veneer. Then after that, after polishing our teeth, we will actually do a scan. So with a scan, we will actually use it to make a new ceramic veneer. My session took about 2-3 to three hours. Yeah, and then there was also another question asking like, do you need to shave down your teeth? Yes, okay? But then don't worry, it's not the kind that you see on the internet where they shave it down to the sharp kind of teeth. You still look like you have teeth, okay? Don't worry. The dentist definitely won't go and purposely shave off your whole teeth lah. He's only gonna shave what he needs to to install the veneer cap on. And then next question is, is it reversible? No, 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 no. You cannot unshave your teeth. It's a permanent procedure. But then the whole set lasts for about 10 to 20 years depending how well you take care of them. So do bear in mind that maybe after a 15 year mark, you would have to get a new set. 15 years, who knows? Maybe I do not like this shape of teeth anymore and I want to change to something that will suit Auntie Chang even more. Because after 15 years, I'm not going to be young anymore, definitely. Di digressing, but going back to the whole timeline after they shave down your teeth you will get a temporary set for two weeks why you get a temporary set is because they need time to craft the final set 
out. So this gives them ample time between your shaven tooth to your actual thing to make the porcelain veneers for you. I think the smile is closer to what I would like. So much better than the first veneer set that we did over here. <laughs> but you guys think I'm so excited for the final set because if this one can look like this already, then the actual one will look even better. <gasps> Honestly, honestly, I really didn't like the temporary veneers part of the whole process. Firstly, it's very fragile. You cannot eat any hard food. Like, don't even think about biting into an apple because since that thing will chip, it will break, okay? Basically, you just have to be super wary of your whole bite. If not, it might chip off. And mine actually chip off like once twice but you can go back to the dentist to get it fixed lah and because right it's just a set that they put over your shaven teeth it's not real teeth whatsoever right you cannot floss yeah so you feel like you're wearing dentures for that two weeks not gonna lie it gets a little stanky because you cannot really clean it properly like sometimes food will get stuck between the gaps and i'm like ah! I survived. I survived that two to three weeks, okay? I was so happy to get it off. Okay lah, two weeks will go by very fast. So I'm very fast. You close your eyes, open your eyes, you at the final stage ready, okay? Rolling. People behind me spinning my playlist again. It's ready. <laughs> Today, we're gonna get the real veneers in. Say bye-bye to my temporary veneers. Three, two, one. Small. <laughs> <laughs> Small. What is this? I don't know. Transition. I was so happy to see them in that little tray, right? They look so freaking cute. Like, oh my god, those are my teeth. I actually chose the second lightest shade. We were trying to shade match with my composite veneers, which is the bottom row of teeth over here. I think it's quite a good shade match because I can't really tell the difference at the moment. This shade was what I was used to for the past five years. So I thought like, okay lah, let's just stick to that shade. But for me personally, the hardest, hardest part is keeping your mouth open for that three hours like since, since I was about to give up at, at some point I was like can I cough my mouth? I want to cough my mouth my muscle cramp like my jaw cramps yeah my jaw muscle was like dying from being like that for three hours but then my dentist was like give me 10 minutes, 10 minutes and I was done. So I kept my mouth open and then okay, he said it was done and I was so freaking happy, man. Yes. It's still taking me a while to get used to it because it's a mouthful. It's like all new teeth, right? So the bite and everything, it feels a little bit different. But overall, it's pretty cute. Okay, another note is that do not plan anything on the actual day that you get your procedure done because you will be all numbed up, right? You titi tati tu, uh, you cannot talk, you talk like you cannot feel your whole mouth. Yeah, your whole mouth is, is not working together with you, okay? Separate soul and entity already. <laughs> Number one, burning question. Spam, 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 spam. People only want to know the answer to this question. How much does it cost? I'm gonna put it out there. This is not a cheap procedure. You need to save up for it. You need to think about it before you actually get it done. So prices start from 10k onwards and you can get in touch with Gentle Smile for further inquiries. So normally people will change the top 8. That is the most popular option because when you smile or when you talk, normally they only can see your top row of teeth. Okay, I'm okay. I'm getting used to it. Yeah. Okay, are you smiling more? <laughs> Tired about your smile. Same ma. Yeah. Because I'm beautiful all the time what? Yes. <laughs> I think that's about it. I answered most of your questions. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. I will reply you, okay? Overall conclusion, I think it's a pretty worthy investment on yourself because firstly, you do not need to worry about whitening your teeth anymore. You get to achieve your dream set of teeth and then every time you look in the mirror and smile, you're like, Oh my god, who is that? What is that? Confidence booster. Just go for it. Just do it if it makes you happy. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for sitting down and chatting with me. Before you go, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.